Hey developers, so in this video we'll look at what the two differences are when using ES6 export syntax. So let's jump straight into it. And before we begin, uh, I'll be using Node.js to demonstrate uh, this with the MJS uh, file extension here, which is for ES modules. And I'll be using Node.js for this. And in order to do that, I'll have to, I'll be using the experimental modules flag as well, which looks like this right here. Uh, I believe in the latest Node.js versions that you don't have to use this flag anymore, but I'm currently using the the LTS version of Node, so this flag is still currently required. So if you've worked with the React framework, Vue or Angular, you will have seen this syntax used pretty often. Now, there are two ways to do exports here. We can do a default export or a named export. So in this file right here, in the modules folder, I have a mod.mjs, which will contain two exports, one as a default export uh, with the class fruit, and one as a named export, which is a function that console logs hello. Now, there are certain differences between default and named. So the main difference is default you can only export one main value per module and the named exports lets you export several values uh, per module. And another important thing is that when using default exports, the name is independent when you in use the import. Uh, we'll see more about that soon. And with named exports, you have to use the same name when importing the, the value in, unless you're using an alias, that's a bit different. And named exports also have to use the curly brace um, when you import them in. So let's see an example about this. I'm trying to import these two in um, the index file. So if we go back to index here, I'll just paste in an import statement right here. So this one here would be the default right here. And this one is a named export with the curly brace here. So I can just as easily uh, call the say hello function. right here and it will work with hello. So uh, going back to the mod MJS, so with the default export you can only have one. So if I try to make another, say another class, so export default class of animal and we'll just leave that empty for now. And if I try to run this again, it should give me an error because you can only have one default uh, per module. So this one gives me a duplicate export of default right here. So you can't have more than one uh, export. So it's kind of like the main value of this module. And with named exports right here, you can have multiple. So if I have an, I can have another one saying const say hello to. And I can do the same thing and just console.log something. And I can bring it in here with say hello to. And if I just console log that out, I'll get hello and something. So it's good to know that you can mix and match default and named exports as well. So if we go back to look at the naming of these exports, so the default is name independent when importing. So that means if we go back to the index, and we see the name here. So this name can be actually be anything. If I named it to, let's say, I don't know, Fruity, uh, this will still give the same result as this class right here. So if I just do a new Fruity, I guess, uh, set that to a value, say Apple, pass through an Apple, and just do Apple dots, uh, get type. So if we do, if we run this, so we can see that we get the type here that says Apple right here. So the name here doesn't matter. We can set it to whatever we want, and that that what it, that's what it means by um, name independent. So the difference for name exports is that these have to be the exact same name. So if I change this to say hello world three, uh, this won't exactly work because it's not, it won't be able to find it in the name exports here. 
Now if I do this again, it gives me an error saying the requested uh, module does not provide an export name to say hello 3. So you can't actually find this one. But if you use aliases like this, so if you go back to normal, uh, we can also just do as say hello 3. And we can just do say hello 3 here. And it should all work just uh, like before. So that's one way around uh, not having named exports add independent names. So that's one of the big differences there as well. So that about does it for the main differences between default and named exports. So when you use these two, it uh, really depends on the situation that you're in. But it's good to keep in mind that these what these differences are. So that's all for this video. Uh, if you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you in the next one.